everyone, my name is Miranda and today I'm here to make a long-awaited book haul that I've recently come across a bunch of ARCs and I wanted to share them with all of you because I don't know which one to start first honestly and it's nice to get like some opinions and see what sounds most interesting and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm here to share all the ARCs I have with you. I will tell you the release dates. I'll try my best to tell you what they're about. Yeah, let's get started. I'm very, very excited and there's a lot of them so... Yeah, you can hear the bell. First up, we have How It Ends by Katherine Lowe, which comes out June 2016. And this book I'm really interested in because it's supposed to be about a friendship, like the course of a friendship, like from first meeting to how friendships fall apart. And I'm just really interested in reading about that because I think it's something you don't see too often in YA and just in literature in general but it's also something that's really important and definitely I think a lot of people can relate to it. I know I've had friendships that have fallen apart and I mean this one seems like it's probably going to be a little more explosive than normal friendships just falling apart but I'm still definitely interested to read kind of just like how being in high school or being in like a different setting can change these friendships that you think are life lasting and the tagline is best friends can make the worst enemies because basically like someone who knows all your secrets and all your life and everything about you is now someone who you're not close with and that's like worrisome because like now they can use stuff against you so I'm very very interested to see this book and see just a different kind of writing for YA because that's not normally a story that we get in YA. And after that I have one that I'm super super looking forward to read. The May Queen Murders by Sarah Jude and this one comes out May obviously in 2016. I mean you're not gonna put the May Queen Murderers out in June that would just be ridiculous. This one is a horror YA story. It's basically about like the small rural kind of farm town and this particular family that lives in it and they have like rituals that they have to do that the other people kind of think they're weird for doing in the town. The main character, her best friend, who is also her cousin, goes missing after the May Queen celebrations and now it's like a race to kind of try and find her friend and find out the secrets and like what's hiding in this town that may be darker than it originally assumed and I'm very excited. It sounds like kind of like Children of the Cornish but also very like, yeah, like ghosts. Like I'm used to reading like YA horror stories with like killers and stuff like this but this sounds like it's going to be super super creepy and I am super super pumped for it so definitely leave a comment down below if you are looking forward to some more horror books because this one looks amazing the cover's so creepy and I am so so ready to read it and after that I have The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab again this is another book don't know too much about it but I mean the cover tagline is there's no such thing as safe and it's something about like monsters I'm very very excited this has a lot of praise and anticipation online so I'm very excited to read this one and this one goes on sale in June as well. After that I have The Season of You and Me by Robin Constantine which comes out in May. This book uh, I just wanted to read it just because it's supposed to be like a cute little love story. About a girl I think she goes on vacation for summer and she wants to try and forget like all the bad stuff that's happened back home and just kind of enjoy the summer and then she ends up meeting of the male romantic lead who is also having some issues of his own and they form an intense connection and I'm very excited to read it. Robin Constantine, I read another book of hers which was okay. It's just like the ending was completely ridiculous so I hope this book is better but I mean she definitely writes cute romance so I'm looking forward to it. After that I have another romance book. I don't know why I'm switching so much between like horror, romance, horror, romance and this is The Last Time We Were Us by Leah Conan. This one is really interesting because it's about a girl who she was best friends with this guy kind of becoming something more when they were little and then he kind of ditched her and fell into the wrong crowd and ended up getting sent away to a juvenile detention center for attacking someone's brother. Now she's trying to just move on with her life, trying to like restart, find a new boyfriend and stuff like that and she's close to getting like this cool boyfriend and then the guy comes back and now there's like questions about if he really did what he's accused of doing and all the like feelings that are left over from when they were younger and the questions about innocence and childhood and I'm very very looking forward to it and the cover is so cute like the cover is what drew me in because it's so cute it's so cute and I'm so so excited to read it I'm excited to read all these so I don't know why I keep saying it but yeah just assume I'm excited and because I said what's the pattern horror to romance back to horror I have The Outliers by Kimberly Mick Crete, I think. I don't know how to say that name. And this one is really cool because the film options have already been acquired. And it's basically about this girl who she gets this like cryptic kind of message from her friend after they've been in a fight. So they haven't been talking for a while. And it basically says like, I need your help. 
and she has to try and figure out like where the girl is because she's getting like cryptic clues and it's like a race against the clock to try and find out and save her friend and I'm really looking forward to it. I mean like I said it already has very good praise and it seems like they're anticipating this to be one of the next big books so I'm excited to read it and see what it's all about. All right so there you have it those are all the arcs that I have. I'm going to leave down below which ones sound the most interesting to you and which ones I should pick up first because there's so many that I can't decide but I'm so so excited to read all of them. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to my channel down below to be sure to make all sorts of new videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!